What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm doing the interior for the first time. I'm wrapping it. I figured I'd do it on YouTube. I'm going to see where we go from here, right? Uh, that's what I have so far. Um, horrible lighting. I work on that next video. But, I'm getting there. Yeah, this piece of course is easy. It's flat, simple. Apply the pressure, worry about the bubbles. Well, these contours are not as easy. Not true. So now I find I have rips on different things in my material. Um I learned about having dust on the back of your material for the show. Uh I'm learning about wasted material. Uh, and the different pressures and temperatures and how I can use the blower to get my material to stretch without ripping. So, I figured I'd invite you guys along for the ride. Y'all can see it with me. If you already know, you know, like, subscribe, comment down below. Help me out. I have no problem with getting advice, knowledge, wisdom to help me possibly get better at a craft that I think I may like. So, this is my first attempt at this and my YouTube channel. So, we're gonna take it from there. And I think normally this is the part of where they would stop and edit it, fast forward to it real fast, and see my arms going real fast and shit like this. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's the editing shit that I don't know nothing about. So we just gonna keep going slow and y'all can ride with me. And I tried to go live, but it wouldn't. Says something about my content isn't doesn't qualify or something. I'm not sure. I'm gonna say it. I couldn't go live. I have to figure out why I couldn't. So if you know why? Help me out. I don't know if it's because I'm not a registered YouTube guy or what. Uh, uh, hopefully you guys can let me know. Now, I've done quite a few videos with my daughter, London Freeman. I'll put her in the, damn it. I'll put her in the link below, I guess. That's how you do it. I'll put her in the link. Below. You guys can go check her out. She's got kids and stuff. She's always doing something cool. And from what I've heard, a lot of... A lot of kids like watching that channel, so I'm gonna get a couple more viewers and subscribers and all of that good stuff. I have to go from there. But I am open to all information, man, as far as what I'm doing, what I'm getting myself into, you know. I'm self-taught right now. I'm, I'm freestyling this shit. So, I already know that there's a million of you guys out there that's looking at me wondering, why the hell? But that's because I didn't know. So, be a gem, why don't you? And leave a comment below. Leave me some advice.
I know it's supposed to be a constant conversation or dialogue going on to keep your viewers interested in all that shit, but when you concentrate, you know. See, this is real life shit. <laughs> No faking and shaking here, but I don't like it. This motherfucker gets hot as hell too, by the way. It burn the skin off your ass. <laughs> Just so you know. <clears throat> Which probably means I should turn the temperature down something, right? <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. It's all in the way of learning, you know. Kind of proud of how this was actually stretching out. Look. Oh, layering. If you have any information on layering, I'm not. I hate layering. I know I'm not even supposed to do it. At least I think I'm not supposed to do it. But I get caught in situations where I feel like I'm stuck with no choice but to layer. So if y'all have any information on that to help me kind of avoid those, I'll be more than willing to accept any advice on that. talk shit about my workstation either because it's makeshift right now but my nephew says he's gonna build me a table that way I look good on YouTube Keep in mind, this is door one and first first attempt. Never did this before. I'm probably doing so much shit ass backwards. But I'm aware of the fact. But that's why you got YouTube. It can help you. <laughs> YouTube is there to help you. Spoke on wasting material, right? That's why I don't like type of work environment is important. But then get caught up like I'm doing right now.
getting into this curvature again. So not only does it sink inward, it sinks downward as well. See the shape of this. Well, probably can't, but you may see. Basically like that. But deep, bigger. And that's the curve that gave me all the freaking hell. So. I'll figure something out. Making YouTube videos is like talking to yourself, man. This is crazy. Ugh. I got a lot of help. Pause for the calls. I need a cigarette break. That's crazy. You know what? I never seen anyone smoking on YouTube either. When I think about it. I wish I had a better angle for you guys, I guess, but look at this, not like I can see what the hell I'm doing. Huh? Guess that's all the part of being a novice. Figure it out. I think it's gonna be a bunch of uh-oh moments too. <laughs> I can see a few of those in the future. That's okay. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna read that shit. I'm in this deep contour again now. And I'm already frustrated and nervous about it because I can never get it to sit right. Not only do I have a contour there, it's another contour for like a latch or seat belt or something right here too. And 
catching that curvature. But as long as I keep it pliable, I'm, I'm all right. I'm just running across a lot of wrinkles because I'm not moving fast enough. close with the heat gun. I learned that. So, getting too close with the heat gun will definitely burn your fucking material. I mean, attention to what you're doing. Slow and steady when the race is. Thank you, though. 